Naririn nyo yung ibang tao na kinakanta yung songs namin. Ayun, yung talaga yung, yung pinakamasarap na part. Yung mm. dawa, sumasakay ako ng jeep, tapos naririnig ko yung kanta. Mm. Yun on, ang sarap ng feeling. So, E-Heads, 30 years hence, in-interview ko ito mga tali. I admire you for having become such the icons that you are now. How, how does it... Did, 30 years ago, did you ever imagine you would be the icons that you are now? When you were playing then, alam ko, para lang kayong, oh, trip nyo lang, eh, trip nyo lang tumugtog. Oh, so I wanted to play the AS steps when we started. <laughs> uh, that was the goal. That's, we gotta play one of these org parties. So how does it feel to have reached such heights? Our goals were very simple. It's just to release albums that we were proud of and I guess parang icing on the cake na lang yung uh, we're considered ano na parang like you said um, icons. Hindi naman kayo talaga mga music uh, students? Gano'n ba? Diba? Hindi kami students of music but I think mga fans of yeah. music kami. This is what we do. We play music. We make music. Yeah, maybe it's the for individual strong personalities din. Makulit lang. How did you feel about that? That uh, you were followed by a whole generation of bands, no? Not so many naman to their credit, yeah. no? You're just thankful, and uh, um, you you wish them the best, uh, uh, despite having us as the inspiration. You know, parang uh, yung ibang uh, mas magaling pa sa amin, eh, in my opinion, eh. musically, oh. siempre. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Uh, it, it's nice to to be you know, an inspiration for uh, young artists. Sempre, that's that's what it's all about, right? Ano pa kaya naman that 30 years hands? Parang hindi pa tayo talaga nakakabreak into the global music scene, no? Kung meron man mga pa isa isang vocalist, Lea Salonga and stuff, but bands. I think we're we'll get our break soon. Uh, I'm, I'm confident naman with, with uh, how social media is right now. And this is the part where I go back to your first question mo, kung what it will take for Filipinos to make it. You know, government support. South Korea did it with Hallyu. They've been doing the past 20, 30 years. Anong classing support? They considered their culture um, exportable. They considered it something that's a soft power that they had to export and uh, yeah, and do that kind of Conquest, if mm. that's the term. Okay, let's talk about E-Heads. Uh, what happened? Why did you disband? Nung nag-disband ba kayo, may panghihinayang ba? Or did you feel that the time was right? Was it fun? I think it wasn't fun anymore. And it was time for us to not be together for a while, like any, yes. like a lot of relationships. <laughs> yeah. No, una kasi, I mean, uh, naririg namin yung mga pronouncements na hindi na kayo magbabalikan. And yet, uh, nagbalikan kayo before, and uh, ang, ang impression ng lahat, yun na yun. That's it, and never again. But since then, ito na naman, no? Uh, what keeps you getting back together? Oh, you're looking at me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ikaw kasi pinaka-madandali. <laughs> I tend to, you know, shoot my mouth off and and uh, say what what's at the back of my mind at that instant. And I have moods. I don't want to the fans. That's, that's the one thing I didn't want to do. And um, I'd rather say, oh, this oh, we're not getting back together, than say, oh, we're getting back together. But I didn't even say na it's final. Mm -hmm. Even the final set wasn't. Final. We never said this is the final final. Mm. Pero ito final. <laughs> There were issues surrounding Marcos, no, and and his uh, ex-wife and daughter. Uh, and, and you said that you were not gonna play with him unless the issues are resolved. So I'm mm -hmm. lang para na resolve. In my case, uh, it was resolved because I what I asked naman for was at least a statement from Marcos, which he did, uh, an apology, which he also did, and um, he reached out to the families, and, um, and as far as I'm concerned, 
Good na ako doon. Okay, so reunion. Uh, Siyempre, taas na expectation. You can't avoid it. Uh, anong plano nyo? To make sure that uh, you meet the expectations. I think we did one better. We we made a program. We made a program. Now we have a director, yes, si Paolo Valenciano. Yes. So you're not going to be stepping out of the box in this one. I mean the box of the program. We used to just do all the backup vocals, vocals and all our friends who were in the studio would do the backup vocals with us. And now we have actual people, professional there, people singing backup stage. vocals. And actual friends. Real robots. <laughs> Not yes, we, we've got horns and uh, for for the songs that needed, we've got backup singers mm -hmm. and more surprises. Okay, so you're uh, what seventy thousand or so uh, viewers or uh, audience uh, will be made up of uh, people of different ages. Papano nyo ito tailor ang inyong repertoire sa napaka ano? Varied uh, taste. Yeah. The hard part was choosing the set list. The songs. So. We've been lucky because the music that we did like 30 odd years ago, medyo pinapakinggan pa rin ng kids ngayon. Nararamdaman nyo ba yung bigat ng, <laughs> ng contribution nyo at yung bigat din ng responsibilidad ninyo? The grounding thing is that uh, <coughs> whenever it becomes overwhelming and the responsibility is uh, peaking from the corner. Uh, that's when we kind of shut shut down and uh, do more albums because um, that's what grounds us making music. <laughs>